Today's playlist is part of Everything Crafting and the theme is Farmhouse. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. First up is a sign for my kitchen, which is inspired by something I saw on Etsy. I'm going to be using this sign that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to paint the entire thing black, the frame and the canvas as well. Now for this project, I am using my Silhouette Cameo to cut out the graphics for this piece but you certainly would not have to do that. You could use stickers or any of the other methods that I'm going to be showing you in this video. As I said, this piece is inspired by something I saw on Etsy. I did make a few changes and I did come up with a design on my own on my Silhouette Cameo. Once I have everything applied, I'm going to remove that transfer tape. The perfect high-end touch to a southern kitchen. The theme this month is craft your stash, and I have too many wood items, so the majority of what I'm doing today involves some of these items. First, I'm using one, one of these elongated shelf sitters from Dollar Tree, and I'm simply going to give the entire thing a coat of Waverly chalk paint and ink. I printed the graphic out on my printer, and I'm just going to use some tracing paper made for sewing. This is a white tracing paper, and I'm going to trace it onto the wood piece. This is a great alternative if you don't have a Cricut or don't have stickers. This would really be more effective if you used a different font than I did. This is much like a handwriting font, which I probably could have done myself, but I just don't trust my own handwriting. I used a white metallic marker from Dollar Tree, but you could also use a white paint pen. I also went over it twice to make sure that it was nice and white. Next, I went around the edges with that white paint pen. I'm sure we have all felt this way at some point. Project number three is using a Dollar Tree Easter sign. I did soak off the image on front with just some wet paper towels and it scraped right off. Now I'm giving it a coat of black Waverly ink chalk paint. Now I'm going to add some Mod Podge so that we can add white paint on top and get a crackle effect. Once the Mod Podge has been applied, I'm going to dry it for just a few seconds, just until it's tacky, and then I'm going to add that Waverly White chalk paint on top, moving in long strokes. I'm not concerned about perfect coverage as I am going to distress this a bit. Now I'm going to use my heat gun to dry the paint and we'll get that crackle effect with that wet Mod Podge underneath. Using my finger sander, I'm going to sand around the edges of the piece so that that black paint is revealed. Now I'm going to be using the Mod Podge reverse graphic technique in order to apply my words to the front of the sign. I'm going to apply some Mod Podge and then I printed off my graphic on a laser jet printer and I mirrored the image so that it's backwards. We're going to place that down on top of the Mod Podge, roll over it to be sure there are no bumps or wrinkles, and we're gonna let it dry overnight. The next morning, we're going to wet that image just until we can see some of those letters coming through, and then we're going to rub away the paper gently with wet fingers. You can see some of the letters are rubbing away as well, but I'm going to fix that with a permanent marker once I'm finished. 
This is going to have a distressed look anyway, so some of those letters missing will not be a big deal. I did go back with a permanent marker for some of those important letters, and I filled those in as best I could, and now I'm using my finger sander just to sand it just a little bit to weather it a little bit more. And now I'm going to seal the entire piece with more Mod Podge. I decided to add a stamp on this sign, so I'm using this one that I found it Tuesday morning. I love the way this turned out, and it's certainly a perfect motto for our family. Project number four is using a glass cutting board from Dollar Tree. I am using my Silhouette Cameo once again, and I am using iron-on vinyl this time. I spared you the ironing part, but I assure you, you can use iron-on vinyl on glass. For this project, I'm using this thrifted wood dough bowl just as it is. One dollar at a garage sale can't be beat. I added a few bars of soap and some bath accessories and I think this is beautiful. I want to take a minute to tell you about today's playlist. It's Everything Crafting Farmhouse and it's hosted by Lady Red Crafting as well as Our Gray House. And the guest host today is Indy Annie Jones. All of their information is linked in the description box below along with the playlist. Be sure and check them all out. Here's another video I think you might like. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to share the sheet. Bye now.